how is the world today this question needs to be asked by every citizen of this country of the world why we all thought we will be progressing evolving towards a civilized society but there are so many developments that give concern to the contrary recently i think as i speak there is a chinese party national congress in beijing in which 5000 delegates appear almost this chinese communist party is as big or as old as the indian national congress why i say this is in the 5000 delegates there are it is reported 80 billioners sitting as members of the chinese communist party out of this 80 members 40 are on the advisory council of the party almost this seems to be a sharp contrast to what is happening in the india's largest political party the indian national congress there are rich people we don't call them billionaires but they are almost billionaires and they are influencing the congress party's ideals and future the it looks the world seems to be moving towards a democratic world order it's not so unfortunately the war in ukraine seems not ending so this will all lead to a sort of a new world conflict which i am afraid we should all try to think about and try to do what we can do individually and nations to bring a peaceful order as i speak there are some lakhs of refugees crossing the borders and just last week we read the great tragedy of a boat carrying 300 people hit the rocks near italian coast and out of which some 40 people and lot of children were drowned what a tragedy do we read all these things and worry about no our society today looking right now around me i find there is no elite society enlightened society upper class society to care about politics and public affairs we seem to run a politics that is touching the lowest common denominator and there are so many scandals and corruption charges criminal cases is this what we all want to have in this age and time we have to seriously think our education should be radically recast and lot of history should be taught and tell people how these things can be avoided when i say uh, elite society upper class i don't mean any upper caste or lower caste caste is a blight to the indian society and no more caste based politics will help anybody it will not integrate society in a harmonious manner into a class system whether we like it or not there is a class system in our caste hierarchy and we have to look to other states how this elite society is helping at least to give hopes for the future take bengal there is a badrlok society do we have something like that in tamil nadu no even there is a an elite society in kerala neighboring state so we should compare ourselves with other states other societies other democracies and avoid how the democracies were in the past destroyed by the barbarians so to a new barbarian class should not be allowed to proceed thank you